All right, this is just gonna be a really quick video about where to find every single crystal tier for your Flask of Wonders Physic with an Elden Ring. With the Shadow of the Urchery DLC coming up, you wanna make sure you have all these before you head into it. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. Also, just a disclaimer here, I've already gotten a ton of these tiers, but I'm gonna show you the exact location in which to find them. So if you don't see them here on my screen, that doesn't mean they're not gonna be there for you. Now we have a bunch of tiers we need to snag in Limgrave, the first of which is going to be the Green Spill Crystal tier, as well as the Spiked Crack tier located right here on the map in East Limgrave. It's going to be sitting on an altar right next to the minor Erd tree, and you can just walk right up and grab it. Next up, you're going to traverse down to Weeping Peninsula to the northern part of Weeping Peninsula right here on the map, and you're going to attain the Faith Knot Crystal tier. It will be sitting inside of an altar surrounded by a bunch of little flower enemies. Just run up and grab it, and then you can be on your way. You're then going to head to this location on the map in Weeping Peninsula, and you're going to snag the Opaline Bubble tier as well as the Crimson Burst Crystal tier. Both of these tiers are going to drop after you defeat the Erd Tree Avatar right by the Minor Erd Tree. With two more tiers to snag in Limgrave, you're going to head back up to the Third Church of Mariko, and there is going to be sitting on an altar the Crimson Crystal tier. You get this tier when you get your flask, so there's a good chance that you may already have it. After we've attained the Crimson Crystal tier, you're going to head all the way to the west near Stormville Shack. You're going to follow this route I'm showing you up until this point on the map, and there will be the Strength Knot Crystal Tier. With all the Limgrave Crystal Tiers found, we're then going to move east into Kaled. There are five tiers here that you need to grab, four of which are going to be guarded by minor Erd Trees, and one of which is going to be sitting on an altar surrounded by a ton of those nasty crows. The first two tiers you're going to be locating are the Green Burst Crystal Tier as well as the Flame Shrouding Crack Tier. Both of these are going to be dropped from an Erd Tree avatar right next to the smoldering church located right here on the map. The next two tiers we're going to be grabbing from Kaled are the Opaline Hard tier as well as the Stone Barb Crack tier. These are also going to be dropped by a Putrid avatar guarding the Far East Minor Erd Tree right here on the map. And for our last tier in Kaled, we're going to be running down into Southern Kaled. We are going to be locating the Windy Crystal tier and it's going to be sitting on an altar in the middle of a valley. There will be crows on all sides, so you can either kill all the crows, or you can run in, grab the tear off the altar, and book it out of there. We now need to make our way into Liurnia of the Lakes. We are going to be grabbing seven crystal tears from this area, so the first one we're going to get is the Dexterity Knot Crystal Tear. It's going to be located directly southwest of the Boil Prawn Shack, sitting on top of an altar surrounded by some Albinarx. Next up, we have to head to the west side of Liurnia of the Lakes to snag the Ruptured Crystal Tear as well as the Cer Brilliant Crystal Tier. These are going to be dropped from a Erd Tree Avatar right here on the map. From this location, you're going to head north and stay towards the west side of the map because right here on a small altar surrounded by a bunch of those weird hand enemies is going to be the Intelligence Knot Crystal Tier. It will be sitting in an altar and all you need to do per usual is just run right up to it and grab it. Now for our last two Crystal Tiers in Liurnia of the Lakes, you're going to head to the northeast section of Liurnia of the Lakes where there is another minor Erd Tree. Kill the Avatar there, and you will be rewarded with the Magic Shrouding Crack Tier, the Holy Shrouding Crack Tier, and the Lightning Shrouding Crack Tier. You're then going to head close to the Road of Iniquity site of Grace for our two tiers we're going to be locating in Mount Gelmir. Those tiers are going to be the Laden Hard Tier, as well as the Cerulean Hidden Tier. To get these tiers, you need to kill the Putrid Avatar guarding the dead Erd Tree at this location, and after you kill him, both of these tiers will be yours. We're then going to head east to pick up six crystal tiers from Altus Plateau, the first of which is going to be located at the Second Church of America, which is going to be the Purifying Crystal Tier. Now you do need to do Yura's questline in order to snag this tier, because it's going to be dropped from Bloody Finger Eleonora. After you kill her, you will then be rewarded with this tier. Next up, we're going to head to this location on the map where you will receive the Crimson Spill Crystal Tier as well as the Speckled Hard Tier. These tiers are going to be dropped from the Giant Worm Face boss, so after you defeat him, they should be yours. 
You're then gonna head to the Hermit's Merchant Shack in the eastern portion of Altus Plateau. We need to snag three crystal tiers that are here, and the first one is going to be the Winged Crystal Tier. If you don't want to fight a Deathrite bird, then I suggest that you go here during the daytime so you can just grab it and go. But for the exact map location, it's gonna be located right here on the left of the Minor Erd Tree on top of a cliff. You'll know you're getting close when you see a bunch of those little skull snails, and then the Deathrite bird will spawn if you come here at night. Now we don't have to go far for the next two, you're gonna snag the Twiggy Cracked tier as well as the Crimson Crystal tier right here at the Minor Erd Tree located right here on the map. There's just a few regular enemies there with an omen, so the only thing you'll need to do is go up to the altar and grab both of these tiers. Now we have five more tiers to grab, and all of them are gonna be scattered throughout the Consecrated Snowfields and the Mountaintops of the Giants. We'll go ahead and knock out the Mountaintops of the Giants tiers first, starting with the two tiers that are going to be located at the Minor Erd Tree right here on the map. Both of these tiers are going to be the Cerulean Crystal Tier, as well as the Crimson Bubble Tier. They are going to be attained by killing an Erd Tree Avatar. He will split into two, so just be careful, but after you kill him, both of these tiers are yours. Next up, we're going to head to the Foot of the Forge Site of Grace in the Mountaintops of the Giants. I'm just going to show you the route because this can be a little bit confusing if I just show you where it is on the map. So watch the route and you're going to be attaining the Crimson Whirl Bubble Tier. I didn't know this tier existed until very very recently which I'm ashamed to say, but just watch the route and I'll show you exactly where it is. As you come to the end of the route, you're going to find a small altar with two hand enemies next to it and that's where this tier will be. And the last two tiers we need to acquire are going to be located in the Consecrated Snowfields. These are going to be in the top right of the Consecrated Snowfields after you defeat the Erd Tree Avatar right here on the map. And these two tiers are going to be the Thorny Crack tier as well as the Ruptured Crystal tier. Hey guys, that's going to be it for every single Crystal tier location. I didn't want to make this video long and drawn out. And I wanted you guys to know exactly where these were if you needed to go and snag a few more before the DLC drops. So with that being said, if you enjoyed the content, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button on your way out. And until next time, stay safe, enjoy the game, and I'll see you in the next one.